This killing was no accident. This was a terrorist attack motivated by hatred in the heart of one of our communities. That was Prime Minister Justin Trudeau in the House of Commons Tuesday morning calling the fatal hit and run of a Muslim family an act of terrorism. In these videos, you can see people dropping off gifts and tributes at the scene of the crime in memoriam to the family who were simply out on a walk Sunday night and waiting at an intersection when they were hit. Four of the family members were killed, a grandmother, husband, wife, and teenage daughter, leaving a nine-year-old boy in hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. With me to talk more about this is the executive director for the Muslim Advisory Council of Canada, based out of Milton, Tabassum Wine. Uh, thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. I wanted to start things off with just your initial reaction from our political leader, our prime minister, talking about this and calling this an act of terror. What your initial thoughts. He's absolutely correct in calling it a terrorist attack. When a family is on their evening walk and they get run down by a truck just because they're Muslim, that is an act of terror and it should be called what it is, a terrorist attack. And, you know, it's it's interesting. The prime minister wasn't the only one. Other political leaders as well as calling this, including our own premier, uh, Doug Ford, who also called this an act of terror. And I just wanted to talk about that term, um, you know, Islamophobia. A lot of people were talking about this today, that it is here, that it is in Canada. Um, just as the representative of the Muslim Advisory Council of Canada, Talk about what this means, what this act means to you. You know what? Islamophobia, unfortunately, is not new in Canada. Um, we just saw a man sitting outside of the IMO Masjid a couple months back, and he was murdered So because he was Muslim. And this act of hatred was done by a white supremacist. Um, so what this means to me is that there needs to be something different in our policies, in uh, our reactions to, to, the, to these incidences. I would like to see, um, I would like to see all levels of government taking this more seriously, to be honest. And it's not just the federal government, it's the municipal, it's the provincial as well. I believe all levels of government should come together, convene and um, dismantle work to dismantle Islamophobia. That is my hope. Um, that's my hope with Muslim Advisory Council of Canada, that we can provide that guidance, especially in the Halton region. Um, that is so needed. How are you taking all this in? How do you talk to your kids about something like this? I My kids are four and five, so I have absolutely not told them. But as a mom, it's devastating as a Muslim community member, it's absolutely devastating knowing that people have such hatred in their hearts for Muslims. Uh, I know for the most part, um, what, what gives me hope is that everyone around me, um, they've reached out to me and they've checked in on me and I have hope in that aspect, but it's terrifying knowing that somebody can have such hatred in their hearts for Muslim, Muslims that they can just run them over with their truck and kill them. So it's, it's sad and it's scary, but I'm firm in my belief that there's hope and people are, there's more people that are good than bad. Um, but I will say that this uh, terrorist, I'm going to call him a terrorist, I would hope that he is charged on a terrorist account. I want to put this, give you this opportunity to put this plug about your council. If, though, if anybody wants some more information and just to learn a little bit more um, about your organization and the Muslim community, where can they go to get that information? So the Muslim Advisory Council of Canada um, is a not-for-profit organization dedicated to empowering the Canadian Muslim diaspora and advocating for the community's needs. But I would also like to say that another organization that is doing wonderful work is the National Council of Canadian Muslims, NCCM. They are taking the lead. They were actually on site in London yesterday, um, or sorry, on Sunday uh, when the incident occurred. And I would say follow them as well. They are a great resource. Uh, if anyone needs more media um, connections, please reach out to them. They're doing a great job combating Islamophobia.